Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Moltrap here. CJ Effort, type in go, 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 go. Like they used to do on Battle.net back in the days. Go, 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 og, 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 og. CJ Effort has been sent out to hopefully for CJ. Uh, I'm actually a con fan myself, but CJ is hoping that he can save the day for them. Jangby in a position commanding a 3-2 to two lead. If Jangby wins this game, he will take the set for con. If Effort wins this game, he will take it to a 7th ace match where inevitably Stork will come out to face him in an epic battle of top 10 Kespa-ers. I think they're both in top 10 Kespa right now. Um, definitely top 10 players right now, regardless of what Kespa thinks, because sometimes Kespa has a funny idea of who's the better players. Um, <clears throat> because they kind of they go off um, placement in tournaments. Um, and they go back like a year or a year and a half or something like that. They give you credit. Less credit for farther back tournaments, though, but um, you still get credit. So if you were like, you know, so like, you know, when uh, for GG won an MSL, you know, even though six months later he was crap, um, he was still high in the Casper rankings because he had that MSL victory uh, on his account. Anyway, uh, let's see. ZVP... Only five games have been played pretty even, so they're just showing the map stats there. So nothing too interesting going on with the map stats. Um, <clears throat> a little bit early pool going down for <clears throat> effort. Looks like an overpool build. Um, <clears throat> that's what I'm thinking. Actually, let me see here. Eh, yeah, yeah, it must be an overpool. Uh, well, maybe it was a nine pool because uh, the overlord. Anyway, I don't know. It's a very early pool. Got the forge going down. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I, I keep. I'm trying to remember more to like uh, pay more attention to the er, the early builds. Although usually it doesn't matter like a whole ton because um, you can kind of tell what happens later on. I mean, both players are going to react the same way regardless. So, especially if they scout each other early. So anyway, yeah, Jangbi Jangbi is a has been playing a little bit well lately. I still think Effort's the better player, so Jangbi's going to have to kind of play his all he's gonna have to give it his all right here if he's gonna um if he's gonna succeed here um what was i gonna say uh something about the comments i was looking at oh yeah it's just uh, one of the uh, for some reason the the server that i'm using to process these videos is being slow so i'm getting them up a little bit slowly uh which isn't much of an explanation now because you're watching game six so most of them are up by now <laughs> if you're watching this but uh, they're going up slowly but I always like like uploading the games in a series as I'm doing them because then I can like get feedback from the f comments of the first videos while I'm like casting the rest of them and oh we got uh, some zerglings coming in here just a few zerglings though cannon comes up just in time he's gonna be able to uh, make sure that doesn't uh, do anything and uh early gas what is going on here I think he has a gas off of does he even have a hatchery? Uh, hopefully he has a hatchery. Yeah, he must have a hatchery. Um, actually, I'm not sure if that's another hatchery at the left side also. Um, so it might not be that early, actually. Um, sorry, I'm just talking... Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Um, probe goes down, though, very quickly. Um... I just got totally thrown off. I apologize because I was going to talk about something that you know what I can go and check the comments right here. Um, um, oh yeah, yeah. Someone was talking about the uh, the winners league format. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to clarify, by the way, just uh, real quick. It is yeah. That looks, so we got that extra hatchery there. Finally, we got the layer going down very quickly as well. Um, yeah. The, the basically the pro league is. The, the season, the whole Pro League season is divided into five rounds. And most of, four of those rounds, the first two and the last two, are your normal rounds, where it's just the normal format where you have specific players uh, in each slot, and uh, except for the ace match. And, um, yeah, I was on crack. That is a hatchery at the, at the 10 o'clock position, so it's just normal stuff going on. I, w I will lay off the crack next time. Um, and then the middle round, the, th the third round of the Pro League is this. The Winner's League is what they call it. And it's this format where instead of having set players for each match, um, it's a it's a it's just a general best of seven. And whoever wins the game, like I said, 
uh, stays in the chair, and so and they play the next person. But they have to win four games in order to win, which is uh, pretty cool, actually. Really, really fun format. I know a lot of people actually think that like it'd be better if it was this format all the time, but I actually don't like that. Just just on the, the general theory of a sportsmanship, and somehow Jangbi spoke s s snuck another probe into uh, Effort's base. Effort killed off that probe very early that was scouting before, and look at that. It was like synchronized hiding. Like all three of them went down at the same time. Um, <clears throat> he snuck another probe into his base, so he knows that everything is just going normally. He sees the extra hatchery going down. He can pretty much predict that um, uh, Effort has kind of tabbed out and is now playing SimCity uh, instead of StarCraft for a minute. Um, <clears throat> sorry, that's what, pe <laughs> that's what people call it a lot of the time. They call it SimCity when you see the Zerg players um, set up their buildings in specific ways to try and make blockades and stuff. And so we, it's a, been a real big PVZ thing to block early Zealot attacks. You get your extra hatcheries and your Evo chamber in the way and it blocks and you put it like we only need like one sunken colony maybe two behind them in order to block a lot of attacks however efforts SimCity is kind of crap right now he's not really using his buildings that effectively to make blockades or anything like that um, yeah so that's kind of an interesting thing um, <clears throat> anyway I guess he just feels confident about his uh, his his macro and wants to make a make sure he's got more space to work with um, <clears throat> uh, oh yeah yeah so some people um, think that uh, think that the winners league should be all the time but but really I think it's more sporting to have I mean it's it's more sportman like to have the team I mean, because it's not really a team effort you know then you have Jadong Oz winning games all the time because Jadong just wins games all the time um, and that's not really much of a team I mean Oz is a crappy team but they can win a lot, in pr especially in Winners League, because they've got Jadong. You know, normally Jadong can only win two games per match, um, max in the normal Pro League, and in Winners League he can win up to four and win the whole game for you, um, which he has done in the past. Um, anyways, this is interesting. Jangbi is trying to hide some Corsairs. Well, he was actually before. I think he's moved them out now. He was hiding his Corsairs in the bottom right to make sure that. Um, uh, Effort didn't know how many he had, so now he's got him in the middle, though. Now that he's got a few of them, so they can't just be picked off one by one. So that's a pretty smart idea. He's got Scourge everywhere, though, so Jangbi's, um, <clears throat> Jangbi's Corsairs are um, on very thin ice. Very thin ice. Very thin ice. Um, he needs to be careful. He's not quite to the magic number where he can fend off Scourge very easily yet. Um, let's see, he's, he's going to try and patrol those. Scourge, try and tempt them into the cannons, which he probably. No, it looks like the Scourge ran away. Um, getting another probe in there and scouting the main as well. So yeah, he's effort putting his his Evo and his Den in his main instead of as his expansions to you help block things. It's really really interesting. Um, really interesting play. We've got a Reaver out here. I won't I won't uh, belabor the point that I made earlier, but just again, you know, we could be seeing some Sarah Reaver, but we're probably just going to see since there's only a single Robo. Um, just some harassment and then into Templar play later on. We got some info links scattered around the map now. Uh, whoa, Corsair's gonna pick off those Scourge, but um, he uses those links to spot the shuttle as it goes through. He's got Hydras in en route to that location. Uh, they're probably gonna be able to hold this off. He sees the Hydras with his Corsairs. He's gonna run away. He does not want to just lose his uh, Reaver unnecessarily. He's gonna try and go in from the side though. There is a sunken colony. He might be able to get a shot off. Oh, single drone going down. Um, only barely worth the Scarab it came in on. Uh, or only barely worth the Scarab for Jangbi. Um, anyway, Effort doing a really good job of defending this harassment here. And he's got his third base going. Uh, if he can defend the harass, Woo! Trying to go in after that shuttle. Uh, barely gets uh, fended off there. Well, I guess not too barely, but... The Scourge got a little bit close, and these infolings are really doing an extremely good job of spotting these shuttles. They're in perfect position, apparently. And, oh, he might lose the shuttle! Oh, the Scourge failing to get there at the right time. <coughs> a bunch of Scourge chasing out his Corsairs now. Looks like he's going to kill off those Scourge. Uh, the shuttle is... No, he turned and ran uh, instead of just facing them. There was a Hydras as well, so he had to run back. And so um, a couple Corsairs go down. Not as many as could have, though. There was a lot of Scourge in the mix there. Uh, he saves the shuttle as well. Shuttle speed for the win, and um, 
Anyway, DT is now going to sneak in here, but there's Overlord Sports.